Hey, we're Ray and Lauren, and uh, we work with a ministry in North Carolina in an Indian Hindu community there. Um, and so we uh, originally, we before we moved to North Carolina, we used to live in India. We were part of a, mis- a ministry team there. Um, we lived there for several several years, uh, doing evangelism, church planting, and um, it was during that time when um, we decided we wanted to come back to be able to pursue seminary education full time. And when we moved to where we were living in North Carolina, we joined a church and uh, we began meeting people, and they were telling us, "Hey, you know, we used to live in India. Did you know there's this huge Indian community that's just down the road over here?" We went to a park one night and. Went, we took our kids out there, and we were just shocked. There was probably a hundred people there, and we were pretty much the only non-Indians at the park that night. And so, in that moment, and in the months following that, we were just saying, "Lord, if there's any way where we could move out into this area and find a place to live, to be able to live uh, around these people, the same people we used to to meet back in India, um, so that we could bring the gospel to them, we want to do that, Lord." And, and He really provided a way. And we have an incredible opportunity to be able to, to live near them, to be able to share the gospel with them, build a relationship with them. And in the hope of leading people to faith and the fact that they are still so connected with their family, with their networks back in these unreached parts of the world, um, that we'll be able to help reach those um, parts of the world through them. We had some good friends through our kids' preschool where um, she had mentioned that she's from a village in India where they have no churches, no Christians. And it was amazing in the few months we knew them, we got to share the gospel with them. Several times they started learning about Jesus. They have, they have a kid's storybook Bible that they're reading to their daughter every day. Um, and then because of visa issues, they needed to move back to their village. And so the gospel's going back to their village where we had no access to before, but through sharing the gospel here in America with Indian Hindus, they're getting to take that back to their villages where they have no access to the gospel. We might not see the fruit now, but we don't need to, that God can take that seed that was planted and do amazing things back in their home country. And It was a process. It wasn't something that I just woke up one day and was like, I'm called to missions. It was um, something that as we were just taking steps of obedience, God continued to deepen a, a desire for wanting to be used by him and and really and then obviously desire for this particular people for Indian Hindu people. Because of your faith promise dollars, we are able to help bring the gospel to the unreached Hindu people that have migrated to the US and we're able to do that in a full-time capacity. And so we're so thankful for New Covenant and your support.